Hello, he, him, she, hers, and they, thems. Welcome to a video on my channel. Hope you're having a beautiful day, because I most certainly am. Today, we'll be discussing something insane in terms of Splatoon 3, and in case you've been living under a rock, which is kind of impossible in today's society. Yesterday, as I'm recording this video, Nintendo officially revealed the release date for Splatoon 3, which means that we'll finally be getting some news and updates for the upcoming game. But while we wait, we have a lot of things to talk about. And just a quick heads up, I'm putting this as a prediction just to be safe so that I don't get comments saying Happy, you're such a liar. I'm gonna cancel you on Twitter for being a poopy guy to head. <laughs> Anyway, let's talk about it. Certified Nintendo leaker Oatmeal Dome has released a small thread on Twitter where it said that Splatoon 3 is going to have only one version that's going worldwide. What that basically means is that there won't be any individual versions being shipped, all copies are going to be the same, no matter where you buy the game. But the most interesting thing about this is what I'm about to say. You know how Japan gets these really cool exclusive outfits that every other player wants? It seems like Nintendo has listened to all our prayers and they might finally remove the exclusivity. It's been one of the most fan requested things that Splatoon fans have wanted and I feel like this is only just the beginning. It looks like we'll finally be able to try out the Koro Koro gear including the Emperor, Mecha, and Senyu. All of this might change up regional Splatfest, but that's a different topic for another day. That's all I have to talk about for today. Let me know what you all think in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more predictions, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!